All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So in what has become somewhat of a tradition on this channel, today I'll be giving you guys a quick top grossing update for the global side of the game following the release of the Fizz Beerus banner last night. Now, real quick before we jump into it, I want to give a shout out to my boy Daffy from Payne's shop on Twitter for hooking me up with some very generous prices on my Dragonstones. If you guys are looking to save yourselves a decent amount of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, possibly for the Fizz Beerus banner or more likely for the upcoming 5 year anniversary banners which are literally a month away, then go ahead and shoot him a DM on Twitter. You can find the link in my description down below and make sure to let him know that your boy Tiger sent you. Alright, so with all that out of the way, let's talk about what's going on with Global's top grossing status, what's going on with these regions, and I'll just be straight up with you guys, man. I am not super hopeful for this banner as far as top grossing rewards go. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. There's definitely a chance, but it's not looking that good, and I think there are quite a few reasons for that. Number one, Fizz Beerus as a unit just doesn't seem to be that hype. For a lot of people. I mean he's very very good and I think people know that but just Beerus as a character hasn't generated as much hype as some other characters might, right? Like Broly for example or a new Vegito, a new Gogeta, a new obviously UI Goku, Kefla, so on and so forth. I mean actually I don't think Kefla got JP to top grossing. Correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure JP didn't hit top grossing the transforming Kefla. But anyways, you guys get the point. Beerus, obviously, there's a lot of fans, but um, he's just not like a super hype character. So I think for that reason, a lot of people are okay with not pulling him right now and are skipping the banner. Number two, as I said earlier in the video, we are literally a month away from the five year anniversary. This is the last campaign on Global before five year starts, before LR Blue Gogeta. And LR Vegito Blue come, so that's another reason why a lot of people are just straight up skipping this banner because they want to save all their stones and all their money that they would be spending for stones for the next celebration for that massive anniversary, right? Number three, people are pretty pissed. People are pretty pissed about the exclusion, the removal of the STR cooler from this Beerus banner, obviously JP had cooler, we instead got Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, which obviously is hype, obviously is an extremely good character, but I think people would have much preferred, actually I know, I know, most people would have much preferred STR cooler over Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, a lot of people were looking forward to pulling their first copy of cooler. Um, on this banner, I think many people actually were more excited about Cooler coming back to Global than, you know, the new Beerus, so I think that's another reason why some people that probably were going to summon, were planning to summon, were planning planning to buy stones for this banner are instead skipping or, you know, just boycotting the banner because they're mad at Bandai for what they did, right? So that's the third reason, and lastly, um, the sales. It's as simple as that. The sales are garbage for this banner. Like, they literally gave us, I think, two, maybe three 91 stone packs, and then one pack for 32 stones, and one pack for 12 stones, and that's it. Like, these sales are really bad. So, all those four reasons combined make it very difficult for any one region to reach top grossing, right? I mean, even France is having a hard time. And you know what, speaking of France, let's just get into it. Um, we're on Sensor Tower, of course, which is my preferred site for looking at stats for apps. And we're sorted by June 8th, which is today. Uh, France, obviously, all categories, very important. You can't sort by games or puzzle games. You gotta go to all categories when looking at top grossing stats. And uh, we're sorted by iPhone, basically iOS store. And France is, you know, we're doing okay. I mean, they're doing okay. They jumped 32 spots last night to third in the rankings. Actually, let me refresh this real quick. Maybe it changed. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, still third. 
<laughs> still third. Um, behind Coin Master, behind Deezer. Coin Master is always up there. Deezer, I don't know what this app is, but for some reason, people like to spend a lot of money on it. People who live in France or uh, just have used this app in general, please explain to me why it's always at number one or number two, regardless of what's going on. Like, I don't understand. But anyways, Tokon is currently third. Like I said, there is a chance for, you know, the, the game to reach number one by the end of the day and claim that top grossing status for the day, but I'm not super hopeful for it for the reasons I just listed, for the reasons I just mentioned, and um, we'll have to see if there's a chance, but yeah, it's not looking so good, in my opinion, in my opinion. All right, moving on next to a region that actually has a little bit more hope, and this is very confusing to me as well because it's Belgium. Belgium is currently at number two in the iOS store just behind Tinder. The thing that confuses me obviously is the fact that from my understanding Belgium had outlawed or banned all in-app purchases like last year. It was like a big deal, right? And for some reason they're still placing, they're still rankings so there's something going on that I obviously don't understand, but we'll talk about that in a separate video. Uh, Dokkan is number two in Belgium at the moment, and if they can overtake Tinder, then we should be getting some top grossing rewards for Belgium, right? And lastly, the third region that potentially has a chance is uh, Macau, and Macau is currently at number four behind this One Punch Man game. The slam dunk game which i'm honestly pretty interested in like I, I hope they is there like a global version for this game because i love the anime i love basketball if you guys didn't know and i'm actually interested in playing this game but i don't want to play like a you know um asian version right because i can't read the characters and it would just be very difficult to understand how to play the game so hopefully if there isn't a global version they release one Random side note, my bad. Uh, this game as well as this, uh, I think, Romance of the Three Kingdoms style game. And, uh, you know, once again, a chance, a chance, but not a lot of hope on my end, once again. I mean, I'm sorry for being a little bit negative, but I just, I'm not feeling it this time, man. I'm not feeling it this time. And these are, as far as I know, the only three regions that are really close. There are a couple of other ones, like the US, and so on and so forth that are like in the top 10 or top 20 but you know that's even less likely for them to actually reach top grossing like climbing the remaining couple of spots right so we got Macau we got Belgium and finally we got France um, all on their way could get there by the end of the day we'll have to see so what I think is most likely gonna happen is we get like to number two in France stay at number two in Belgium maybe get to number three or number two in Macau but never actually reach number one overall and uh, get nothing or if we do reach number one it's most likely going to be in just one region and the most we'll be looking at is seven stones so uh there you go guys that is today's video uh not a super super positive one like the ones that i've done recently with like the ui goku and stuff but sometimes it's just that's just how it is that's just how it works so i uh, hope you guys are not too disappointed Hopefully we do at least get a few stones from this, but we'll have to see. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.